What we're doing is using Poe for the first time. Our goal is to learn how to prompt Poe, and Poe is actually many different AI, large language models, and other type things, but we're going to say collectively Poe is what we're going to be typing in our prompts. Within Poe, we'll switch over to, to my screen, within Poe, there is a section called Explore, and this is the most fun section of Poe because it's here you get to see everything your Poe subscription gets you. So there's a lot of things here. I can tell you the ones I like, and I'm going to. I like Sonnet, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, because it's really the top cutting edge language, large language model right now. I also like Flux Pro, because I can type a text and it will turn it into an image. Uh, GPT-4 is good. Uh, Gemini is good. That's a Google AI that has a lot of power, so you could feed it a ton of text or video and ask it to interpret or tell you things from that video. There's also things like Pika, which can turn your photo or text into an animated movie, which is impressive. There are other things like Llama that we're not getting into because those are meta. That's basically Facebook's language model, and I'm not interested in using those. Same for other types of things I'm not going to interact with. The real reason to get Poe right now is because it gets you access to Claude 3.5, 200, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, 200,000. That is the biggest language model that currently you could feed things to and be able to work with it in a really fun way that's conversant with, with you. So you could feed it War and Peace, it will read War and Peace, and then you can have a discussion about War and Peace, and it didn't need to have previously known anything about the book before you gave it to it. Let's start with Claude 3.5 Sonnet 200,000. The, the number, Claude 3.5, is indicative of its model number, so this is the 3.5 version of this model called Claude, and Sonnet is a sub-designator indicating what it's particularly good at. Certain ones are good at fast responses, certain ones are good at really complex answers. It's a trade-off. We also have this thing here called 200K, which is relevant if we have a lot of data we're going to be giving this large language model. 200K means we can feed it a lot. You know, we could give it, well, 200,000 tokens worth of exchanges happening in this model. Those numbers don't mean anything yet. Tokens don't mean anything to you if you're new to Poe but that's okay. Just think of this as being the one you should start with if you want to do anything that's more than just text me a response that's 10 letters. Let's talk to Poe. I'm going to make a prompt. Poe, actually I'm not talking to Poe, we're talking to Claude within the app called Poe. So Claude, tell me, me what I should do with you. I know you can do a lot. So, in essence, this is a tool that can actually tell us how we can use it. And I think that is a really cool thing about large language models. As long as you can type to the language model, you can probably ask the language model to help you how to use the language model. Awesome. And that's what we just did here. For example, if you didn't know what you wanted to use this for, you could ask it, what the heck can I do with you? And it'll tell you. And this is great. I'm interested to see if it can make an image prompt for me. Now, an image prompt does not generate an image. An image prompt is what we'd like the image to show. So I'm going to ask Claude to generate an image prompt. It will give me some text. I will then take that text and feed it to another AI within Poe called Flux to turn it into an image. So let's go ahead and say, give me a nice image prompt. And you'll notice I didn't type with proper capitalization or grammar, but I did use a polite phrase at the end. It can figure it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is copy what it gave me, a whimsical treehouse library nestled at night. I'm going to copy it, copy selected text. I'm going to go to the bots where it's explore. I'm going to click Flux Pro, and I'm going to paste what I was just given from Poe, well, from Claude, and I'm going to paste it into Flux. 
and we're going to see what happens. I like it. It looks lived in. I'm going to do the next thing with Poe, which is one button, click Pika. This is going to turn this image into a short animated image, but the way it does it is going to be completely up to itself. I didn't give it any directions. I just said, hey, Pika, which is an AI that turns images or text into videos. I said, hey, Pika, take a look at this photo. And because it turns images and text into, into videos, it knows what to do. And it's already doing that. It's at 7% complete right now. That's enough time for me to have a potato chip. But I'm going to mute the audio so you don't have to hear it. Okay, let's watch our video. Whoa, it's a push-in, cool. That was really neat. Okay, well, I think in five minutes we've talked to an AI, we've asked it to make an image, we've turned that image into a video. The next thing I can think of is showing it an image that I have on my computer and asking it what it sees. So I'm gonna go to Explore, GPT-40 latest. Just arbitrarily, that's what I'm gonna do. GPT-40 latest is probably the newest version of GPT-40, which is short for Omni because it's good at a lot of things. I'm going to feed it an image. As soon as I find one, here's an image. I have this image I made on my computer today. I'm going to show it to GPT-40 latest and ask it what it is seeing. What is depicted in this image and, and what is its likely context of use? What is the likely context in which it would be used? And for context, it's an image of someone taking a window screen off a window so that they can clean the window. That's what is depicted because I made that. Oh, look, it says GPT-40 ran into a problem. Well, let's try to regenerate. Let's see if it can fix itself. It can't. Let's send it to GPT-40 not latest. Okay, well, boy, GPT is not showing well on our t test, but if we press the same thing again, and we go ahead and ask it what is depicted in this image and what's the likeliest context for which someone would experience would be interacting with this The image depicts a step-by-step -step guide for cleaning a window. It shows a person performing four steps. Preparing a towel, placing the towel on the ground, removing the window screen, cleaning the window with a cloth or tool. Let us both look at this together. Did it describe it accurately? Because I think it did. That's me. So let's close this. That was a, a product that's not relevant. So I think it did pretty good at figuring that out. Let's say, let's do one more bot within Poe. And let's figure, figure out a good one. Well, here's another fun thing. You can use this to remove the background of an image. I don't know why you need this. You might have your own reasons. Let's see how well it does for that image we just showed it earlier and see what it can do. I'm just literally dragging and dropping an image into a la into a, a a bot that's called Remove Background. 
I wonder what it'll think the background is. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. It looks like it kept two of me. Okay. Well, you know, for an arbitrary test of Poe in 10 minutes at the beach, I think we learned something. I'm glad you stopped by. That's it. Go enjoy a beach day. <laughs>